Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Third Floor. My name is Joe, and we have a pretty special group of fellas here today. We have some constants like Mr. Lee. hey Pretty loud today, I guess. We got Jake. Hello there. We got Justin. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? And for the first time ever, after trying to get this slippery serpent on our channel for like three weeks... We have the very elusive Parker joining us today. How's it going, everyone? So we're, we're especially excited to bring Parker into this one because we consider him our resident DC um, <laughs> expert. And today, similar to our Marvel uh, tier list rankings, which should be posted by now, we're going to be doing our DCEU tier list rankings. And we thought, you know, what better way to debut Parker on our channel than... We have him in his element. So Resident we're excited to have here. <laughs> what? Resident DC fanboy. <laughs> I was trying to give you a little bit more credit here, but that's fine. <laughs> fanboy. Hey, born and raised. <laughs> no born shame. Me too. <laughs> All right, so the rules are pretty much the same as last time, and just like last time, we have an even number, which is weird. But we're going to go through the first time around and just try to place these movies in whatever tier we think they most deserve to be in. Do we have five people? And we do have five do we? people. We're, we do have five Yeah, we have five people. Let's do a head count. Well, Joe, Justin, Parker, Jake, Lee. Five. Oh, fantastic. Even better. Well, sorry, guys. I don't know how to count, I guess. So that makes it a lot easier for us. So <laughs> we, if we have a little bit of a tie, we have a swing vote if necessary. But like I was saying, we're going to go through, try to get each one on a tier, and then we can argue where to move it left to right to determine which is better or worse. Just to clarify, S tier is our greatest tier, like the best of the best. Captain Marvel, of course, shouldn't be need explanation, but I will. That is the worst of the worst, the trash bag, if you will, of the DCEU. Garbage. And then the further left these movies go, the better. The further right, the worse. Does that make sense to everyone? Oh. Yes, yes, it does. And uh, one thing Sweet. before we begin, uh, you might notice that Black Adam is not on this list, and the reason for that is we couldn't find one that had Black Adam included, and I'm too stupid to figure out how to make one, so we're just going to roll with this one. So, Sweet. Yeah, so without further ado, um, we're going to start off with Aquaman. Parker. All right. Resident Lee, yeah, I've... I'll, I'll lead us off because I think I'm probably the one who liked Aquaman the most. But I would think out of out of what we have here for the DC movies, it's I would say it's one of their S tier movies. But that's my oh, my personal right opinion. Oh, right right off the bat, wow. it okay. was definitely one of the ones that I enjoyed the most. What what did you like about it? Well, let's let's go through with what you guys think what tier you would think it uh, would be in, and then then I'll go with my thoughts on it. My biggest thing, what do you got? A, the moment a is thing, a lot but... more, I feel like, really. Only because S tier, Aquaman was good, but I just, I did not expect that for S. Well, I, to be to be honest with Parker, just looking at this tier list, I see only maybe two movies I would consider better. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. So, I, I would say it's well, probably I, my top three. Only reason, only reason I would say A is because I like to leave, limit S tier to one. So for the MCU, I would consider Infinity War the, the best of the best. Tier. I would, I would okay. just be yeah. oversaturated with options. So if you put yeah, four yeah. movies in S tier, you know what I mean? Then it kind of so like for me, Infinity War is S tier. That's it. Everything else is, but just put it in perspective. So do you still do you still want to put it as your S? Ah, uh, let's see. With that being said, if you have one choice. Would that be it? I'll honor it. I can think of three movies that are better than that one. Is what yeah, I'm gonna I, say. I see a few. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. If if I had to, I I could put it down into A tier. I could think of a couple that I'd that I'd like more. I could argue A. So I, yeah, I I okay I, I could concede to an A ranking. I'm okay with A. Yeah, I mean, I think it was like a out of all. The mo out of all the DCE movies, um, I think this is one of like the the one one of the best paced movies out of all of them. Yeah, because a lot of DC has just like a big problem with delaying 
movies and just like throwing out all these random shit. And I think Aquaman stuck very tightly to its story. So I give it points for that. And, uh, you know, Jason Momoa is a pretty good, pretty good actor. Definitely a bro. So I'm okay sticking James as an Juan, A-tier. good director. James Wan's good, good director. I felt like it was one of the better outings. Oh, Joey, what agree? about you as a resident fish hater over here? Fish hater. We need awesome. I was, to be fair, I was going to say B. I was going to say mm-hmm. B. I, mean, I could have saw that one coming. Yeah, I, I did not love this movie. I feel like I'd... a B plus would be the most accurate, I guess I could say. A minus, B plus to me. But mm-hmm. I would totally... I mean, I could, I, I could give... I could... I'm okay we, with it. We could always we could always change it later if we, we yeah, start yeah. The, we start to flood the A a little bit and we feel like it needs to be moved down. We'll get into the semantics. We yeah. gotta, we'll, we'll leave A for right. Aquaman first off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Birds of Prey. Now I gotta be honest with you, I didn't even see this movie and I heard bad things about it. So C C C tier. I won't take anything higher. And you, you won't think anything, anything lower. B or C. Uh, what did I you think it was? I would say. C. I'd be interested to hear if you had a reasoning for a higher. Ah, uh, just just from thinking what for what I would be putting lower than it, I would I would give it yeah the, it'd be it'd probably be high C tier for Birds of Prey. Saw it once, don't even remember when I saw it. It certainly can't remember too much about it, well, but I, I know I saw it. On, what some for me, C tier is if it's on TV, I'm not watching it. That's that's C tier for me. Like I won't yeah. watch it. Yeah, I, I watched it once. I don't, I don't plan on watching it again. Jody, you got anything? You and McGregor is Black Mask. Not bad. Not bad. I appreciated that, like expanding the characters used in the Batman universe. Yeah. But uh, I like would I have gone about that route? No, no. Horrible. It was it was yeah. It was fine for what it was. Saw it. Don't need to see it again. C tier. Yeah. C tier, but top of C tier, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right, Justin, what do you think though? You've been a little quiet. I, boys, to be honest with you, I, I, I've seen. He hasn't seen it. He hasn't yeah. seen it. Yeah. I don't even know that movie I've seen Suicide Squad. We can persuade him with the arguments at the end. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm really looking forward to being. Yeah, the yeah, swing yeah. vote. Remember so the if swing you, vote. Like, yeah. If you need we'll to like nail again. down your point on an S tier or something, I'm I'm off game to listen. Justin Resident All Swinger. Alright, I like that. Resident Swinger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, OG Justice League. What a, oh, what a disappointment. Uh, what, a disappointment. Oh, what a disappointment. What a disappointment. Parker, I know you feel you feel strongly about the Justice League. What do you got uh, for us? Well, so if, if I were, t- uh, my ranking would be, would have been different had the Zack Snyder Justice League not come out. But since it came out and it was much better, I enjoyed it much more, it just gets firmly placed into C tier. Below Birds of Prey. Yeah. Wait, below or above? Below Birds of Prey. Below Birds of Prey. Yeah. I don't think I don't think there are any good moments in that movie that I can think of. None of them that made sense. What a disappointment. Like, yeah, and just inside. just seeing the mustache, the mustache Superman. Oh yeah, you know, gives me anxiety. <laughs> just the seeing the small changes movie. that they were able to put in and make it so much better. It just it just proves that it deserves to be the low low C. Oh yeah, I I'd agree. I agree. And honest, honestly, agree. the biggest problem I have with this movie is they made Batman such a pussy. Oh yeah, such oh, something a... bleeding. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 like, dude, you're fucking Batman. You don't complain. Yeah, like, like, oh, it's it's the one. Crazy. Yeah, it's the one movie that they tried to shove in the Marvel jokes into the DC tone, and it just did not work. Dude, Batman, yeah, because Joss freaking Whedon. Batman's too serious yeah. of a character to be the butt of a joke, or even involved in any joke. Exactly. Yeah, just ugh, what if he's making a joke, it's gonna be a witty, smirking comment. That's all. It's, it's not gonna be a ha ha little Marvel joke. Yeah, it's like he didn't get to do anything that I'm like, that's Batman. You know, like at one point he just started shooting an alien rifle. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Where are the gadgets, <laughs> my guy? Where are they? <laughs> All right, we got the pinnacle right here. Na- now, the Snyderverse <laughs> transitioning to the newest version of the Justice League, the Snyder Cut. Mm. So, Parker, you want to begin with? Uh, oh yeah, Joey, go ahead. Parker's opinion. Yeah. I have a feeling I know where he's going to put this. So, 
Yeah, so I, I think I'm going to aggravate Parker here a little bit. It was oh, definitely it was definitely an improvement to the original Justice League, but the feeling of disappointment with what they made with the characters they had was still evident for me at the end of that like seven hour movie. I can't put it. I cannot <laughs> definitely. There's no. There's no shot that goes S tier for me. Absolutely no shot. Uh, not, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I've I've admitted to Parker. I mean, I'm an originally DC person more than Marvel. I think the characters yeah. DC have are better than Marvel overall. Oh, for sure. But, for sure. So I had higher expectations for this movie than I did anything Marvel did, and they crushed me. I would put this high. I I oh, I'd put it A because Aquaman's A. I guess. But you know how I feel about Aquaman. Above, above or below Aquaman for you? Oh, above, easy above. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have to agree. I don't. I don't think this one belongs in S tier, just because I know I, they did make a lot of small changes that made the movie better, but they they kind of didn't fix Something like some of the way better. Yeah. They, oh yeah. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't fix a lot of the issues that I had with the movie. No. Um, I thought the pacing was a little bit more wonky because it was just they tried to fit in so many character moments. When they should have built up a groundwork to do that, I understand that they just had to like make the movie, but mm. it did, it did feel rushed, and I feel like not all the characters got the big moments that they needed. Um, do I think it's better than Aquaman? Yes, I agree. I just I think the one the specific movie that I have in mind that I'm gonna say is S tier, I think is still miles ab- better than ju- the yes, Star Cut Justice League. I agree. True. Yeah. So I'm okay with high A. Yeah. I I would also agree with with high A just because of the fact that you're right the overall story it's still still inherently flawed they did a much better job they made the cooler moments better but the shitty moments are still still they shitty they're still there red filter, you know the red filter at the end oh, yeah. oh, yeah. it was it's leaps and bounds better but it still had much room for improvement just based on the potential that they could possibly have. So it's it still falls flat in certain areas. And plus, just not being able to fit it into a less than four-hour movie, it obviously makes it harder. I mean, I can say that I've I've watched it one time. I, At least to my knowledge, I, I haven't watched it again, despite oh. I really enjoyed the movie. But am I going to sit down and watch the full thing for four hours? No, I, if I'm going to watch something, it's going to be I'll watch some clips from it, but that's it. You know, so it's definitely not into S tier, just the the rewatchability. That's not a word, probably, but uh, being able to watch it again, it's just, it's a task. I mean, you got to set up your whole night for that. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's like, it's like what am I going to do on Jake, Sunday? When, yeah. when Jake was living with me, I remember we dedicated like a weekend to it. Like, I remember like we were like breaking in some chunks. And even that, not to say it was bad. But it was like hard, just because it's so it's not. tough to sit down for four hours doing anything. Yeah, I mean, and especially cool. like think of like showing that to a new fan, like oh, come down, Ooh. come sit and watch the Justice League for me. Like, oh, how long? How long is it? Like two hours? Like, uh, no. If you <laughs> no, want to watch no, the first half, double. yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I, I just think exactly. if you look at other DC uh, DC movies that are like that long, I think yeah, like Watchmen does that does it keeps you entertained for longer than Justice League does, like, but, you know. Oh, not, you know, Watchmen's not on this list. That's a fucking bummer. It's not on this <laughs> list, yeah. I was thinking that that would uh, be good that's one to right. rank, because... That, yeah, it's, uh, it's just not a, not a part of the, the the newer universe, so that's fine. Yeah, but Watchmen's a good film, you guys, so if you guys haven't seen it, I would definitely give it a watch. It, it's, a, it's a long movie, but great characters. It's an R-rated DC movie. Dude. It's just, it's really good. Yeah. It'd, it'd definitely be in my my A tier, high A tier. I'd say I'd say high A, like probably the highest of A. Yeah. I'd say. So this is where I think I disagree with you guys because I think Man of Steel is better than Dark Side of Justice League. I agree. Well, I, no, I, I, none I, of us had set our opinions on that yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, this is where I disagree. I liked Man of Steel, and we we're just like, we were talking about Watchmen, Xavier. <laughs> No, no, no. Well, I, I, didn't, I thought that you said that Justice League was the highest of eight. No, no, no. I said, I said, no, no, no. Yeah, I said, exactly. So where do you think Man of Steel is going to go? Okay, okay. Wait, wait. Where do you <laughs> oh, Man of Steel is going right to ass. Kill fucking Zod any day of the week. Snap his neck. I don't care. Oh, he should do it. No, right to S tier. Ooh, I, 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 
I'll give you S tier. No. Then what is going to be your I, S tier? I think the Suicide Squad. All right, we'll, get, we'll, get there, we'll get there. Man of Steel is, for me, it's an S tier movie for, for the DCEU. Okay, Joe, Jake, what are we thinking? Jake, a, go ahead. It's like an oldie, but a goodie. You know what I mean? Like, I like this movie. I would, I like I would watch movie. it if it's on TV. I think it's probably the most, ex- not maybe the most exciting, but definitely has one of the, to put Parker's words, one of the best replay rewatchability out of any of them. It's a good story. I think it was weird. I get, it's controversial whether or not people like the ending because it's like, wow, Superman killed. You know what I mean? Um, That's not for me. What, what else was he going to do? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 I'm not arguing about that. I just don't think it was, I guess, uh, S tier worthy. Yeah, it's good. I'm not trying to diminish anything from it. It's a good <laughs> film, and the more I rewatch it, oh, genuinely, the more I've I've seen it since. Like I rewatched it, I think in the last yeah. time I was deployed, like last year. It's I like the first half of it, especially because it shows the flashback, and it shows a lot of like his internal struggle. It really lets Henry Cavill be a good actor. I really mm-hmm. like it. I my my one complaint. It doesn't have Superman saving people enough, and the only reason I say that is because. The whole scene of him fighting the gel in like the Antarctica while the yeah. ship is blowing up half Metropolis, I think would have been a phenomenal showcase. Like that scene where he saves the pilot that ejected from the seat. That's yeah. pure Superman. I love it. And I just if, if they had some more of like him just saving the people of Metropolis yeah. while all that shit's happening, maybe I think S tier could argue it. Not a bad film. I just I don't think well, one one thing that you do also have to think about with that Superman's been Superman for what like three days like realistically how how many people do you think he's saving in his first couple days of putting on the suit just learning what his powers really are and then someone equally as strong as him shows up and tries to kill everybody like yeah, he's but- lucky enough that he just didn't get killed himself yeah so like I I understand the fact of that you know. I know my first day on the job. I'm certainly not going to do a, a bang up job. He's just struggling to get through it, and that's that's how I like it. Like it's like it's similar to like how realism is with the with the boys. Like that's a realistic take on how Superman would be in that first day. He's not going to be Mister Perfection on the first day, and that's that's what I appreciate on it. And that's just I get, feel like it gives him a really good base. Where if they were to do things right, then they can really showcase how good Superman is in future movies when they do have him be the one that's saving everyone and everything like that. Like, I, I feel like it was a good place for them to be. They just kind of stumbled with the future movies. Yeah, I, I, I could... I, could, I, could yeah. I respect that take. I would say, though, what I would have liked to see, though, is at least him trying... Yeah, like, like, I think. Remember when Mark fights his dad? I would have loved something <laughs> similar to that, where he's desperately yeah. oh trying to God. save people. But I, don't know, I mean, tell me that wouldn't have been awesome. Like, like he's trying to save people, but, but, he's, just, yeah, he's, just, he, but he's just not strong enough yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. I, that if it, that wasn't like he goes he goes to try to save someone from falling out of a car and like either Zod just like lasers the car with the person or he's just not fast enough to catch up to the car yet. And it's just like yeah. showing him. I think that would have been really cool, but obviously, you know, that's that's a hindsight. It's a hindsight take, but I think that yeah. it's better than Zack Snyder's Justice League. I would agree with that. I just don't think it's S tier yeah. worthy. All right, all right. Can we? Wait, wait, wait. What are your thoughts, Joey? I shockingly agree with Parker and say this is S tier DCEU no, quality. Really? All right. <laughs> All and right, Justin. It, we have our first time. <laughs> All right, Justin, have you seen this movie? <laughs> oh, of course I guess not. this is our first question. <laughs> oh, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. All right, Justin, um, can, I give, can I give my quick argument to see if I can sway you a little bit as well to add to part? Lay, lay it out, Joey. Of course. All right. So when I, if we were going based off the first time I saw this movie, I would put it like high C, low B. But as you rewatch it, like it gives you the almost like the truest essence of Superman that I've seen since maybe like a cartoon or those original um, Superman movies from like the seventies, where it shows an internal struggle inside of him to with his desire to fit in 
and then his desire to do good, but but being like a super strong human being in a very fragile planet, and it just shows his struggles and his and his wants and his needs, and it makes him very human. So you feel connected to Superman in this movie. And I think the score by Hans Zimmer, by the way, is one of the best ever. Oh, fantastic. I, the music that you hear and the, the things you hear him say and the struggles you see him overcome makes you go like, now this guy's a hero. He's not perfect. But it's like, this is who we all strive to be, a person who tries his best and fails and stumbles and you know he keeps coming back for more. And I hated the end scene when he killed Zod to save the people. But if you rewatch that scene and see Henry Cavill's acting where you know he doesn't want to do it, he it, he really doesn't want to do it, but he's choosing between his own people, his own biological people, and these new people that have adopted him. That's not an easy decision, but he's so selfless and so caring that he's willing to sacrifice his own people and then his own moral beliefs to kill this man just to save this family because that's what he knows is right. And I think that's – the essence of Superman. He does what's right, even when it's not what's easy. Yeah. And I think the more I watch it, the more I'm like, dang, that that's Superman right there. And there's and just the fact that there's no other option. I mean, Zod said it himself. There's only one other one way this ends, Cal. Either you die or I do, and that's that's how it had to be. It's the two mm -hmm. strongest people on the on the planet fighting. There's one choice. Oh, that's all, all, right. all I have to say. <laughs> all right, so I, I maybe I need to rewatch it because I don't remember much about the, I don't remember much about the music, and to be honest with you, I don't remember much about Superman's character development. So I'll give it a, I'll give it a rewatch. Um, so I'll give it I'll give it I'll put it up to an S, but I'll do an S. It's an S. Whoa, it's an S. A, it's an S asterisk <laughs> for me. I have to come back yeah. to it. Sorry, yeah, it, it doesn't it a, doesn't have to be your number one S, but but it belongs in there. A plus it doesn't mean it's a bad movie. I feel like we're missing that. <laughs> and that, and that no, when I say no, A plus, but we're arguing for our points. Keep, keep it moving. We're, we're running out of time. I got, I set a timer. <laughs> Keep it, keep it right, on to the next one. Shazam. Keep it, keep it Shazam. So Shazam. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna say out front, probably B tier movie. I don't think it's yeah. I, I I would agree. I think we can be pretty quick at this one. It's a solid B tier. It's got some decent comedy in it, which is. Which was nice for DC from from coming off of some of the more serious movies. The villain was lacking, but it I think it did what it needed to 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 show people that okay, Shazam's a character. It's worth having another movie for, and I I think it did what it needed to do. Solid B tier. Anybody have any objections? I, like I would it. put it lower, but oh. I'll take it. All right. Well, do you think it's better or worse than Birds of Prey? Better. I'll it's say better. it's, it's slightly better. better. So yeah, all right. Take so it, for, for now, B. for now, we'll put it in B and we can move it down. We can always move it later. All right, the best movie in the DCEU, Captain, <laughs> Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. <laughs> Anybody got any objections? <laughs> Let me just say one thing real quick. They keep talking about the air cut, and I would be interested. Ah. I've only ever heard about that. At least the air cut. Yeah, like, yeah. They, <laughs> I would be interested in seeing that. Because I do think that this movie was probably messed with a bunch. However, oh, it's yeah. still it's trash. It's trash. It, it's it leaves like, a theatrical cut. It's I don't think I've seen a worse superhero movie than this since like 2000 Dar Daredevil. Like, oh. it's, just, it's just bad, man. Oof. Honestly, so I, while I agree that it is bad, I do have to say that walking out of the original Suicide Squad. I did feel better than walking out of Joss Whedon's Justice League just because of the sheer disappointment of what they were given versus what they gave us. Yeah. That I, I would put it above Joss Whedon's Justice League because he had he had no 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 he had everything going for him to make a much, much better movie. And he even if you sit because he, he edited that Snyder's original film. No, I know, I know. I'm just, just that movie in general, they had everything together to make it much better movie, and I hated it. But from what Suicide Squad was given with those characters, some that you barely even ever hear of, I still think they gave more for what they were given than they did with the first Justice League. So I, I would personally put it above the first version of Justice League. Honestly, I think what would have been better uh, is Josh Whedon's Suicide Squad probably would have been 
Funny, but like, yes, like indeed. almost like almost like a Firefly type esque thing. Probably would. I I do I agree. I think he would he would have done a better job taking over that Suicide Squad and putting a a more comedic tone to it rather than the Justice League. But let if me that's tell what you, you're trying to say. My next pick blow your mind because the James <laughs> Gunn Suicide Squad is about to become S tier because we only have eight minutes left. Because it expired just a second ago. But uh. James Gunn Suicide Squad is going to become S tier. Yep, hundred percent. I feel like that is the best DCE movie to come out. I I agree with Lee. Yep. I had I, also so, agree. I, I had so much fun watching this movie, dude. It was just it was it, fantastic. It, it, James Gunn leading the DCE. Uh, no, no entertainment news. It since Endgame has made me happier than James Gunn leading DCE. DC New, excuse me. Because I just feel like he understands characters, and this was a genuine expression of him telling us as fans, like, I can take the lowest of characters, like, like Ratcatcher, who no one has ever heard of, and make them a compelling, a compelling character with a good story arc. Like, he understands characters at the lowest level and just knows how to make you relate to them in a way that I want him to take Superman or I want him to take these people that, like, it... I just feel like he just gets them at their core, and I want to see more of any character he ever makes. Peacemaker? I had never heard of Peacemaker. Never gave a shit. The Peacemaker show? Yeah. Phenomenal. Awesome. It was fantastic. Awesome, Loved it. Polka Dot Man is Wouldn't my have favorite. happened if it wasn't for this movie. So I would say this is the best DCEU movie by far. It's just phenomenal. The, the soundtrack, phenomenal. The editing, phenomenal. That fight of Peacemaker versus Colonel Flag when it's in the reflection of Peacemaker's helmet, like, you never saw anything even remotely creative in any of these other films. <laughs> Do you see this fight where it's in a reflection? Mind, mind blown right there. Mind blown. Yes. I mean, I don't have any objections to that. Does anybody have any? Yeah. No, no I, 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 agree. I, agree. I agree it's an S tier. The, the only thing that would, that would take me from not putting it above Man of Steel is just in the fact that Man of Steel's been out for what? Like, 10 years, I've probably seen it 15 times. Suicide Squad, I've seen once, maybe twice. So that, that would be the only thing that, that limits me there, but I, I agree. It's S-tier movie, one of DC's best. It's All just right. the, the nostalgia factor of, of the fact that I've seen the other one so many times. So, I'm not going to lie, I think I haven't seen 18, or 1984, Wonder Woman. Bad. Um, it's bad. So, what are we thinking here? At C, bottom of C. I, I think I'd rather watch. No, watch not movie. that low, not that. No, I, I, yeah, no way. I, uh, she I, 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 post. She, she, Gal Gadot commits rape. <laughs> All right, stop, stop saying that word. All right, where, where yes. I would put Wonder Woman eighty four? I would put it after Shazam and the lowest of B. While it's while I don't think it's a great superhero movie in the terms of what you would typically expect of wanting good fights and things like that, I did like just playing the story of it. I thought the villain, even though despite not having any like actual useful powers for fighting or anything like that, I did think it was a compelling story with him, so I did enjoy watching it. But yeah, it's definitely, if you're going out to see a Wonder Woman superhero flick, that's not what you're going to be going there for. So that would be the only I, reason yeah. why I wouldn't have it in C tier is that it did have a good story with a good message. It just fell flat in what you would expect for a bombastic superhero movie. And it was very oddly, like a very oddly satisfying story with Steve Trevor in Wonder Woman. Like, I don't know why I enjoyed it as much as I did. Like, not the whole movie. Don't, I'm not saying that. Like, their interconnectedness and their... Like especially in like the middle chunk of the movie, it was like a very refreshing, positive story. And I was like, wow, I'm I'm actually liking this. But then obviously when she's like lassoing thunderbolts in the sky and fighting a CGI cheetah woman, it just it really fell apart. So I mean See, I, I, I would I, be that's that's the part I like. <laughs> Big flashy oh, flashy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I would say I'd agree with Parker. I could take low B or high C, but that's probably where I, I would put Maxwell it. I Maxwell Lord. He was such a bad villain. Anyway. 
All right. So, oh, where, 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 so where, where, where are we Long putting this? Shazam. Yeah. Right. Well, on the I, other end of the spectrum here. What I do think is, we... is better than Shazam, though, is the original Wonder Woman. Um, yeah. I really like. I really like this Easy movie. Easy Yeah, I really yeah. like this movie. I, top of the A. I'd I put it. I'd put it probably here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I would, I would put it. I would put it behind Aquaman personally. What? Just in, no, wow, just in the, if I'm if I'm purely <laughs> basing it off of off of the villain department, where they could have so easily made Ares look so much better and be much more intimidating, with such minimal changes. Where I liked the villain in Aquaman. I liked Ocean Master a lot. I thought he was good. I thought he was charism- charismatic. I thought he was intimidating. More so than Ares, when you could look in through his mask and see this old British dude with the mustache, <laughs> I think was just a terrible representation who's, of him. Who's the guy uh, in Wonder Woman? Who's the guy in Wonder Woman? Not Ares, and not the gas woman, but the third, the guy who she dances with? Chris what? Pine? No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's, it's the, you know uh, it's the, 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 dude, the dude that huffs the gas all the time to get strong. Yeah. Let me just say real quick, my only complaint with this movie is that should have been Vandal Savage. And I think that would have been a phenomenal place. Are you guys familiar with Vandal Savage, the guy who oh, does yeah. Raid? Yeah. You know who you're talking yeah. to? This is Parker. So <laughs> I think a thousand percent, if you had put that in Vandal Savage and he lived to the end of the movie, because you never saw him die on screen, that would have been mm-hmm. a phenomenal point for him to come back later on in the franchise and show, like, I don't know. I just, I. My biggest complaint with DC, and real quick, is that they use characters who aren't, like, comic book villains. Like, a lot of the times they're not using the side villains or whatever. Have very, I've never even heard of them, or they're very little. Whereas Marvel is always, like, very well-known villains. Like Skull, like Skull Crusher or whatever. And, um, and DC needs to capitalize on that by using more of their villains from the gallery, because they have better ones. So they should have used Vandal Savage. Yeah. My one, my one complaint with Wonder Woman, and honestly, this is, would be this would have been an S tier movie if they had made for me if they had made one change, and that was after she defeats Ares, the war does not stop. I thought it would have been way more compelling for Wonder Woman's character for it, that er, to come to the realization that man is just inherently bad. I thought she did. Yeah. No, but as soon as Ares is defeated, everybody's like, "Ooh, what are we doing here? Oh, wow, this is a gun. I don't want this." And throw it to the ground. You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, because then also it's like, well, is Ares dead? Dead, or is he like, is he still gonna be alive and come back? Because there's still plenty of wars after Wonder Woman takes place, also, and it just Ares doesn't really make bad. much sense. Yeah, like that. I just think it would be more compelling for her character to be like, "It's Ares' fault. It's Ares' fault that you're like this. I don't blame anyone." And then for her to just to finally defeat him thinking everything's going to change, to immediately be met with gunfire from the enemy. And she has to, like... Yeah. And she's like, I don't want to kill these people, so she runs away. And almost has, like, a crisis, because she's like, what the fuck is going on? I thought that would have been way more compelling for a character. Still a great movie, but if you change that at the end, I thought it would it'd probably be up there in that tier for me. Yeah, it, yeah. I I think the only parts that it started to fall apart were in the third act with, with Ares. But other than that, I, I love the movie. True. Okay, last one. Batman v Superman. The most (laughs) praised movie of all time. (laughs) Man. Oh, man. I just can't get over the. I just can't get over the fact that Zack Snyder's like, anything could happen in this. Batman could get unsexually favored in prison. Can we just ignore the word? Can we just just ignore the fact of Zack Snyder's crazy comments and interviews and just go based on the movies, just the movie? I say he only read The Dark Knight Returns before before making this. He had never read any other Batman. I would say top C. Oh, Justin, Justin, Justin? Justin's seen this one? All right, all right, everybody shut up. Justin, go ahead. No, no, no. no, no, no. I go, just go. said, wasn't this a good movie? I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, 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 brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> Bottom of B. Bottom of B. I'd rather watch this than some C movies. Is this the whole, like, Martha meme? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Right. Why did you say that name? It's like, <laughs> dude, it's, right. it's a common have, name, man. I'm like, that. chill out. Has, has everyone here seen the the Ultimate Edition? 
And are you basing your thoughts off of the Ultimate Edition? Or are you basing it off of the theatrical? Dude, I'm I'm not going to lie. I do not know the difference between the two, if you're asking me. I don't know the difference. You don't know? Did you see both? I don't know. I didn't say it was a bad choice. We're just assuming it's theatrical then. We don't I think we have time yeah, to go yeah. into all that. If it's, yeah. if it's theatrical, then then yeah, bottom bottom of B for sure. It, for the ultimate cut, I'd, I'd give it a couple spots higher than that. It's it's got low lows, but it's got high highs. I mean, I I still think the the final fight, despite yeah, you don't want Doomsday in there. I agree, it's not the real Doomsday. I agree with that, but still visually, like the actual fight. I still think looks visually more appealing than a lot of the other fights in both DC and in Marvel movies. I think that they do a really good job with the CGI. I, just the fight in general, I really enjoy. I love the Batman. I, I love the Batman. It's the rest I love, of the movie that falls apart. I love the Batman um, Superman fight. I hate how it how they resolve the conflict, but I love the fight itself. I thought it was cra- yeah. I thought it was great. The way and, well- the warehouse fight's good too. The warehouse fight is a sick fight scene. That is like peak Batman, even though he does kill somebody with a box, but he totally he totally murders. But wait, <laughs> can I remind you guys of all the times this movie had insulted your intelligence? No, obvious the obvious it's one bad. Bad. is it's the bad. Martha it's one. Bad. It's bad. Second one is Batman got tricked by Lex Luthor by getting sent <laughs> letters in the mail. Uh, he's like, oh, I have to go investigate my one of my old employees who's being who has like radiation poisoning from this guy. Also, that the fact that well, Lex, Lu- um, Lex Luthor, can we just say Lex Luthor in this movie is the worst character? Yeah, in it, in that casting movie. choice. My, okay. Jesse, I my performance is the worst. It's, it's, I can't think of a worse performance. A key role. Me and Parker were just saying the other day, Lex Luthor yeah. is a key. Role in the yeah. DCEU. Yeah, the, the only the only thing that I can say about that in any sort of positive light is that I will I will give them the ho- hopeful benefit of the doubt that the real Lex Luthor that they never got to show would be Jesse Eisenberg's dad because he talks about him in the whole movie about being mean and stern and all that stuff and that he's he's just his son he's just his junior. If they could have had the possibility to like throw everything out of the rug from him and introduce his dad to be like the actual Lex Luthor that we know and love from the comics and well, the awesome animated powers. shows and stuff like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're working with no, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that that would have been there. That would have been their only chance if he just came out and was like, "You're an idiot, kill him," and then be the actual villain. But with what they did, is terrible, terrible choice. Yeah. Bottom of C because we're, we're really over time. Are we putting it bottom of C or top of C? I'd say I would. I would still say bottom of B, but above Birds of Prey, but below Wonder Woman eighty four. That's where I would think. Yeah, we got a nice distribution right. here. I like this. We do. If, if I yeah, exactly, nice bell curve. If I were to be ranking just the fights in Batman v Superman. It'd probably be in A tier. Just the plot, it'd be in Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's I feel like crazy. Captain Marvel. All right. Anybody got any closing remarks? Uh-huh. I will. Uh, when we redo this tier list and like you know down the road, I promise to have watched these movies. Wait! 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 wait. One more. Black Adam. Oh, Black Adam. Oh, Black Adam. Black Adam. Black I, I, I haven't seen it, so I'm going to shut up. I mean, okay. Based on the wonderful video you can watch on the channel, I mean, it was a pretty I good have movie. Seen, I have seen Joe's video, and he does make it seem very exciting. Yeah. So, <laughs> All right, so, hey, Xavier, have you seen, you've seen it too, right? Yeah, I've seen it. Why, yeah, yeah. Lee, where would you put it? Uh, Lee puts it... Oh, I feel like it's bottom of A. I mean, it's for sure not anything... I think it's a great outing and it's a great step in the right direction. However, it's nothing yeah. uh, mind blowing and it's nothing. I mean, I love the enthusiasm Dwayne Johnson brings to it. Uh, I think bottom of A is very good. Yeah. It's, it's good. Hmm. Maybe top of B only because of. Uh, I, would, I would keep it in A tier. The, villain, uh, the villains crashed, but aside from that, <laughs> I would say A minus. 
like yeah, I, yeah bottom of a bottom of a tear. I would I would keep it at that. A, a good first representation, but yeah. they they now they they have the stepping tones. Now they have to prove it. You know they're they're bringing back the big man himself with Superman. Now it's their time. They have to nail the next one. If they yeah. can't nail Black Adam and Superman, they're they just have to give up at that point. And we'll have a video for that next after this. <laughs> yeah, coming in five years. Coming in five years. <laughs> All right, so now we have the official objective Mar- uh, DCEU tier list. Um, any disagreements are incorrect, so don't even don't even try us. Uh, that being said, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of The Third Floor. Uh, make sure that you guys have any suggestions of anything we do in the future, that you leave a comment so we can read it. Um, tell us what we're doing wrong. Tell us what we're doing right. We love feedback here. And um, tell us what your favorite DCE movie is and um, what we should do next. Anybody else got anything to say? Check out our MCU tier list. <laughs> MCU tier list. Right, oh, yeah. Coming soon. Parker, thank, thank you. guys you. for letting me join. I look forward to uh, being on some more episodes of the third nice. floor. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Parker, thanks for coming. We'll see you.